Jennifer Lopez wants to embrace the positive. The movie and music superstar issued a heartfelt message to fans in a new post for her on the JLo newsletter on June 5th, encouraging everyone to find gratitude amid the ups and downs of life. It may seem like there's a lot of negativity out in the world right now, but don't let the voices of a few drown out that there is so much love out there, she wrote. Her latest post comes days after she confirmed the cancellation of her This Is Me Live tour to focus on her loved ones, telling subscribers in a personal note how difficult the decision was, writing, I am completely heartsick and devastated about letting you down. Please know that I wouldn't do this if I didn't feel that it was absolutely necessary. I promise I will make it up to you and we will all be together again. I love you all so much. Until next time. Representatives for Live Nation said in a statement that Jen is, quote, taking time off to be with her children, family, and close friends. According to her post, fans who purchase tickets through Ticketmaster will be automatically refunded in full. The news arrived amid continued speculation about Jennifer and husband Ben Affleck's marriage. A source told Access Hollywood in May that the pair has been living apart. Though they weren't photographed together for weeks, they have more recently been spotted reuniting for family functions including high school graduation festivities for Ben's oldest child, Violet, and a basketball game for his son, Samuel, both of whom he shares with ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. Chatter about the couple's status increased after Ben's absence from the Met Gala on May 6th, where Jennifer was a co-chair. The now-scrapped tour followed her This Is Me Now album and cinematic original that in part chronicles her and Ben's rekindled romance. The pair packed down the PDA for the project's red carpet premiere in February and also collaborated for a making of documentary called The Greatest Love Story Never Told. Jennifer and Ben tied the knot in 2022, nearly 20 years after calling off their original engagement. In her latest newsletter post, JLo went on to thank supporters as she celebrated the continued success of her hit Netflix movie Atlas, which reportedly hit number one on the streaming network for the second week in a row. She previously told Access Hollywood Scott Evans alongside co-stars Simu Liu and Sterling K. Brown about coming up with memorable one-liners on set. Action movies, you need the star needs a, like an action line. And I heard you got in this movie and you said, you know what, I feel like we haven't really done the line yet. I think I got one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's go, bitch. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Come on. I know. That was not in the script. Listen, we, we knew that. All great action movies have like these little different lines. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sterling's like, what's gonna be mine? What's gonna be mine? What's gonna yeah, be his? Yeah. So we were always throwing different like ad libs out there, like crazy, like one of these is gonna stick. <laughs> one of these is gonna make it into the right. cut. Yeah, for I sure. I had one. I had one, but it was because I thought it was I thought it was an R-rated movie. And then they told me it was PG-13. So it's on the cutting room floor. What's the line? I think it's a good one. What's the line? I can never say it. He can't say it. I should tell you everything you need to know. Oh, it's, it's, it's one that is specific for I will, me. I will never say it. He can never say it. Could it have been an American fiction? One of them kind of lies? Yeah, it's one of them. Okay. It's okay. something like that. Okay.